kidnapping in the second degree. Yes. <laughs> Misprison of felony. Ouch. Felony is a federal offense. Uh -huh. The felony did occur. Uh-huh. And you know about the commission of a felony. Ouch. This is a forgery. Oh. Oh. Now, just going through today's email. Poop. Forgery is a Class C felony. It is a federal offense to sign, yes, under the penalty of perjury, any document knowing that you are not the individual. <laughs> now, let's look at, uh, well, I, RCW, forgery is a Class C felony. Now, if it's the ex officio superior court clerk, it's probably a Class B felony of impersonating the ex officio superior court clerk. Yes. <laughs> Now, there's the crimes included in harassment. Malicious harassment is a felony. Oh, and a hate crime. Oh, I was arrested for probable cause. Yes, knowing I wasn't in Squim. Ouch. Well, knowing I wasn't in Jefferson County. Yes. And then again, in, in February, knowing I wasn't in Squim on February 9th. Yes. These are all malicious harassments. Ouch. And they happen to be a Class C felony for each one of them. Now, knowing I wasn't there and you had the evidence from the bus video surveillance camera footage, yes. Knowing I was in this library on December 31st, yes. It's a hate crime and it's malicious harassment and it happens to be a felony. Poop. Then knowing I wasn't in Jefferson County and knowing I was emailing, yes. <laughs> it's malicious harassment and it's a hate crime, yes. And then knowing, yes, that there was no probable cause to charge me, yes, with the uh, Class 2 theft in Squim, Washington, there was absolutely no reason to issue a warrant for my arrest <laughs> because you could have questioned me, yes, without a warrant for, well, <laughs> if the interviewer, yeah, mm -hmm, had just asked me, yes, where were you at at 11 p.m. on February 9th? <laughs> I was renting a room, yes, as a boarder, yes, in an individual's private home, and I have slept there every day since. Mm -hmm. See, there seems to be just a little too much discretion in the arresting, the issuance of warrants, yes, and not enough questioning about the probability of the individual involved, yes. Now, my driver's license is changed. <laughs> See, my height is six foot two, yes. My weight is 255 pounds. Right. <laughs> Date of birth. Ouch. My name was changed. Oh. <laughs> and Mike Van Proyen had some involvement, didn't he? Yes. And you decided you would not arrest Mike Van Proyen for any violent yes, offense. Yes. Known as malicious harassment. Ouch. <laughs> Fraud. Poop, poop. Or being a very deceitful individual. <laughs> Now in this email, I did not, I did not, I, I did not put uh -huh, a picture of Susan Bowers, but I thought when I was watching Mike on the YouTube when he had his church services this weekend, <laughs> that you've intentionally allowed him to live his life when you had knowledge of felonies. Now maybe the Squim Police Department, yes would like to begin to enforce the laws which, because you are using my life to allow other people to live their lives that they have no legal right to not be in prison. Boop! Now, I want Mike in prison and I want to speak to Marilyn, yes, because I want to talk to her about her life expectancy. Oh, now... You know, ouch, as well as I do, yes, that I will sue every oath of office, pooch, all of those that have the privilege of being in law enforcement, yes, and every individual that has the privilege of being an attorney, yes, because all of them that have knowledge, actual knowledge, of for documented <laughs> uh, felonies, yes, that will all sit there and say, well, we're not going to do anything, <laughs> I will put them in prison, <laughs> 